Hi, welcome back. So our next project will be observing the things around us and drawing them. And there's a special thing that people said the more you draw, the better you'll be at it. It's like drawing, it's like muscle memories. You are just going to keep building on top of it. So today I would love for you to find five things around you. It could be your water cups, it could be your brushes, it could be your phone case, it could be a tool, anything, and we're going to use our thin pen to draw. We're going to skip the step with using pencils. We're just going to challenge ourselves as an artist if we can just see, draw what we see. Are you excited? Let's do it. I'm going to start by grabbing my pen and I'm looking at the placement of where I want to start drawing. I am looking at my my doll. I'm drawing, drawing the shapes, anything that I see, I'm just going around just drawing and I'm continuing the lines. Adding the eyes now. Anything I see it doesn't have to look exactly like it. I'm just trying, I'm trying to practice my drawing muscles. And then I'm drawing the Pikachu's here. And I'm looking at the edge. I'm drawing the edge of the face. I'm drawing the nose. Any shapes that I see. Any details, I can add the details too. I'm just trying to add some details. I'm not too worried about making it perfect or look exactly like what I see. I'm just enjoying it and having fun with drawing and moving my pen. Now I'm ready to add some colors. I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to get my color. A little bit, a little pink goes a long way. And I'm just starting with a light color, which is yellow. It's the lightest. Notice how I love to leave a little bit of white spots here and there. That's my painting tip for you. A little bit of white spot will make your drawing look amazing. Amazing. Oops, look, see my white spot. It's kind of like the reflection or the highlight. Artists like to leave a little bit of white spots in their painting when they paint. Then I'm ready to add some darker color. I'm adding on top of it very confidently. Orange, or, orange is a little darker than yellow. And if it gets too dark, no worries. You can just add a little water, wipe it away, blend it with the colors. The shadow. Now I'm going to use some purple to make the shadow to go put on the bottom of my object, of my stuffy. Artists like to use a little purple and blue to make shadows instead of just using just black. Something about it makes it really beautiful than just using black or gray. And then I'll add it and a little bit of my Pikachu. I hope you had lots of fun observing, exercising your drawing muscles. Here are some of my finished artwork. Um, my water bottle, my brushes, and my scissors. I drew anything, anything I see. And here's the one with my Pikachu, my water bottle. I think my favorite parts is, are the parts where I add shadow, when I play with the shadows. Mm -hmm.